Hi everybody, I just wanted to make this quick little video on Marilla's action because one of my friends in the YouTube space was having trouble with his program. Um, for those of you who don't know, I preach Marilla's action. It is the recording software that I have been using since I started on YouTube and I continue to use it to this day. Now, the issue that he was facing is that when he would push record, it would record not only a video file, but a separate audio file as well. And that's because of this option right here. Enable, disable additional audio recordings into separate audio file. Now, I'm not sure which update it was that changed the way that this works, but it did change. There used to be a checkbox here that said record microphone into separate audio track. So what people are doing is they're clicking this box here in order to separate their microphone into a separate track. But that's not what this is for. This creates a duplicate recording of one of your sources. So if you have it checked, you pick which one you want to duplicate, primary or secondary. So if you're to record with all three of these boxes checked, your microphone audio and your game audio will both be on one track and you will also have a duplicate of one of those tracks. Okay? So if you want to get your Marillus Action to produce something like this, where you have one video file, an audio file for your game, and an audio file for your microphone, you have to check the button that they hid. And it's very easy. It is right here. Secondary sound device microphone. Click the gear and check this box. Record microphone into separate audio track. It's the same checkbox that we were using before, but it's now in a sub menu instead of on the actual interface. And that's it. Once you check that box, your Marillus action will start operating the way it used to. All right, guys. Bye.